So if one was asked to describe maximum communication, total understanding, full respect, and utter trust, coupled with huge affection, wouldn't that be a good way to describe love? This wheel of rapport building is a wonderful way for us to consider how we interact with other humans and our, our relationships we have with people. It's a terrific tool to positively influence every human relationship we have. However, whilst we can use this tool to develop and improve new and existing relationships, it's also a fantastic way to repair or rescue relationships that have gone off track. And I'm talking about even the really bad relationships. Understanding and having the knowledge and confidence to use this tool can help you repair tired relationships. And it can even help you rescue really damaged and broken relationships. So let's look at when relationships go wrong. There are two ways in which the rapport wheel behaves when relationships are in the process of failing and going wrong. The first one is called rapport reduction. This is caused by the wheel slowing down. Instead of a desire for more communication, more understanding, more affection, trust and respect, the opposite happens. You communicate less, you talk less, you have less interaction, therefore there's less understanding and slowly the wheel slows down. Somewhere in the relationship, an element of trust or understanding or affection, respect, something's happened to just take the edge off it and instead of moving forwards, it starts decelerating and the relationship slows down. Something happens to affect the wheel and affect the way the relationship is turning. It could be that you are not actively turning the wheel. Any relationship left alone will naturally deteriorate and slow down unless you're actually engaging with each other. For example, if you speak once a month instead of once a week, then your instances of communication will be less, your understanding will be less, and the wheel will have slowed down in its turning speed. This can reduce the ability for the relationship to survive, because once a month becomes once every six weeks, once every six weeks becomes once every six months, once every six months becomes a Christmas card at the end of the year, and before you know it, you haven't seen each other for three or four years. Now there are some relationships which can stand this and are actually quite easy to pick up and see each other once in a blue moon. But for many relationships, it's the kiss of death. Sometimes the slowing of the wheel is noticeable, but sometimes it's negligible. And before you know it, the relationship has slowed down so much that you can't even be bothered to get it going again. This sort of thing is common with old school friends, for example. You were always in each other's lives whilst you were at school, but then you go to university and your lives start to diverge. You see each other on the summer holidays, and yet it's not quite the same because you've got new interests, they've got new interests, different friends, different experiences, and sometimes your paths reconnect and sometimes they drift apart. And it's all down to how much and how much you communicate, how often you understand each other, how much comprehension's going on, keeping that wheel going. Funnily enough, this is where social media, Facebook, even LinkedIn, actually have a real value in keeping relationships going. Because although you might not speak to each other or even directly communicate with each other, if you both see each other's postings on your feeds, it's almost like you're communicating and a relationship can be kept chugging along for a long, long time. The question is, is that the sort of relationship you want to be having with people or are you looking to have greater and more involving relationships? Whilst these sort of relationships can slow down, peter out and die, actually to rekindle them is quite simple. 
you can reconnect with just a phone call or even something as little as a Facebook poke. So that deals with rapport reduction, the slowing down of a relationship till it peters out. No one's really fallen out with anyone, but the relationship's failed because nobody's talking. The other and far more destructive event is known as a rapport break. This involves the complete destruction of all rapport and ultimately the death, often with no comeback, of the relationship. So this happens when the previously fast spinning wheel of rapport stops suddenly and everything is destroyed as the wheel shatters, shrapnel goes everywhere and the previously healthy relationship is smashed to smithereens. Imagine somebody sticking a lead pipe in the front wheel of a motorcycle, something like this. Bitter divorce battles are very good examples of this happening. One party generally has broken the trust of the other, rather like that metal pipe in the wheels of the motorcycle. Everything goes crashing and boom, the relationship is gone. In the ensuing carnage, everything that was good about that relationship is obliterated and forgotten. And emotions run very high and very negative. So ultimately, relationships either slow down and wither or get destroyed in great explosions. Violent end to relationships, abrupt finish, with possibly irreparable consequences. However, the rapport wheel can be used as a tool to repair and rescue broken relationships. And this is how it works. 